What's up everybody? This is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics and today I want to talk about a book that is basically going insane right now and I want to show you some of some of the auctions that are being bid on and the prices this book is getting. It's amazing. Now this is a book I've been telling people about for years that they need to get. If you've seen my videos about like the top 10 books that are guaranteed to go up, this book has tripled and going even higher and will continue to go higher even from when I made that video about a year ago. And let me just show you some of the auctions that are going to be closing just today. All right, so I'm sure you would have probably guessed that I'm talking about Incredible Hulk 181. I want you to see some of these. These are auctions that are going to be ending today. Here is a Hulk 3.5 with about two hours left to go with a bid of over $2,000 because you have to factor in the shipping and handling. So over $2,000 for a 3.5. Let me show you what the current rate is for that on GoCollect.com. So here we are at GoCollect.com, which basically gives prices of books based on the average sales. So as you can see here, Hulk 181, we scroll down to a 3.5, and it's at $1,750. So there's still about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours left on that auction. So who knows if anybody else is going to bid on it. But it's already over what the current value of that book is. And even that at a 3.5. To put in perspective, my Hulk 181 that I bought a year, year and a half ago, graded an 8.0, I spent a little bit over $1,500 for just a year ago. Right now, an 8.0 is currently here as 3500 but let's check eBay, the prices of what people are spending. Alright, so let's scroll down and let's see if we can find anything. Here's one with most of the cover and page one missing for $200 plus shipping and handling with a day left. Here you go, look at this. Here is, now mine's a PGX, but still, I uh, there is no way my 8.0, if I was to sell it tomorrow, which I'm not, would get fifteen hundred dollars it would probably get thirty five hundred dollars but this one isn't even done yet because there's still a day and an hour left here's a cgc 8.0 current bid right now is over four thousand dollars plus about eight dollars shipping and i guarantee you there are going to be more bids so let's see what else now these are all auctions <laughs> thirty three dollars for just a poster so people are getting so desperate now they're spending money on a poster here is, look at this, here is a restored 1.5 with two days and three hours left, current bid of $815. This book, now let me show you what a 1.5 is, just a regular 1.5 according to Go Collect. A regular 1.5 is $900. Here it is, almost already at that price, and it's restored. So let's check that one out. Let's see if it has the Marvel stamp. So let's see if they give you an image. Okay, so you could check this. So let's see what's wrong with this. Restoration includes small color touch on cover. Look at this. Marvel value stamp is missing. So it is incomplete. It has restoration, does not have the Marvel value stamp, and right now, it currently stands at a bid of $815. This And this is all based on the fact that Marvel potentially is going to be owning the rights back to the X-Men, especially Wolverine. There are even rumors that Wolverine may be in Avengers 4. Now, I don't buy that. It's not impossible, but I think that's more hype than anything. I think if they're going to introduce anybody first, it would be Galactus. But, I mean, it's all rumors at this point. But if that deal goes through with Disney and Fox, and it hasn't been official yet, they still have not signed everything and made it, you know, good to go, 
this just imagine what these prices are going to be for this book when it ends up getting its first trailer now just imagine if there's a movie scene in Mar- a marvel movie where you see this image where wolverine is attacking the hulk like this people will go crazy so as expensive as this book is already getting and you could see even a 0.5 a garbage of garbage is $825 this is a book in my opinion you have to get now I was lucky enough to buy these a year year and a half ago and even my 4.0 that has minor restoration let's let's drop it down let's say it's the equivalent of a CGC 2.0 so I have a 4.0 I have the 8.0 which is not restored or anything but I have a 4.0 that has the Marvel stamp and it has just minor um, restoration like I mean like I think it's like a couple of pages got like in Fort reinforced that's it a minor thing but let's say that drops it down to the value of a CGC 2.0 that's still thirteen hundred dollars I spent seven hundred on that book and that was a year ago so these books are on the rise I was telling people like I said you could just look at my videos to prove it um, let me show the one video in question okay so here's the video that I was talking about and I also did one earlier than that 10 comics you need to get before it's too late but it doesn't really matter let's go to this one really quick and I'll show you there there we go so let's hear a little bit about this one and if if you haven't seen this one I highly recommend checking it out so let's go from here you have to have in your collection this has so much potential it's an expensive book but again not out of reach this is not a hundred thousand dollar book but this is incredible hulk number 181 which is the first full appearance of wolverine Um, i was fortunate enough to get this one at an 8.0 i spent a little bit over fifteen hundred dollars for this book Uh, uh, make sure you get one with the marvel stamp and if they don't mention it in an auction, make sure you message them. Make Okay, so we're going to end that right there. But this is a book... I mean, let's just go to some of the sold recently. Okay, so the way you could find that out is you scroll down over here on the left side of your eBay list to right here where you see sold items. And then we're going to go sorting by ended recently here we go eighteen hundred dollars included with marvel stamp twenty seven dollars for the what if twelve hundred and fifty plus fifteen shipping so twelve hundred and sixty five dollars for a 2.0 let's see what a 2.0 is so a 2.0 is $1,300, and they paid a little bit under what the going rate is. So that's actually not bad at this point, and that was September 3rd. Here's another one. It might. I wonder if it's the same one, because sometimes people don't actually pay for them. A 9.0 for $6,500. Let's see what a 9.0 is according to Go Collect. 52... 50 so 5250 look at that they spent over a thousand dollars oh wait was that a 9.2 let me double check no yeah 9.0 5250 is the going rate and they paid a thousand dollars more here's a 5.0 that sold for 2200 let's see what a 5.0 is 5.0 2100 so people are paying higher than what the value is and gocollect.com bases it on previous sales so that's why i tell people don't even use the price guides anymore they are so outdated it's not even funny so this is a book i would highly 
recommend you getting, even if you get a 0.5, because it's not official yet, there are no trailers, and Wolverine isn't in a movie yet. When that happens, that first trailer, that first, you know, little teaser trailer or something they put at the end of a Marvel movie that maybe even gets a hint to Wolverine. Like, remember what they did in the um, Infinity War at the end with the Captain, Captain Marvel on the little pager? I mean, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it. Um, just imagine if they do a movie where in Avengers 4, all of a sudden you see Wolverine's mask or you just see claws come out of the darkness everybody's going to run to this book. So even though the prices are getting out there, you ain't seen nothing yet. I can pretty much guarantee, from my own point of view, that these prices will double from here when that happens. And people said I was crazy when I made that video back in April. And look how much they've gone up since then. An 8.0 at $1,500 now can't even buy you, look at this, for $1,500, it could buy you a 2.5. And that's with these rates. With eBay, it's probably a 2.0. So the prices, I told people, get this book before it gets out of reach. This one, in my opinion, is going to be the next uh, Amazing Fantasy 15. Now, obviously, it's never going to reach the Amazing Fantasy 15 levels, but I'm talking about getting to that point where... AF-15 is now. Because Hulk, it's not Hulk, that's the, the thing. It's Wolverine. Now, this is his first full appearance, so if you can't afford this, Hulk 180 is the next best thing, and people are really going to start gravitating to that. Because remember, Hulk 180 is his true first appearance. Now, let's just check that really quick. Let's go to Hulk 180 and see how those are going. So these are still affordable, I could probably pretty much safely say, because people want the first full appearance, but it's going to get to the point where it's so expensive, people can't get it anymore. I mean, look, these are still obtainable. A 0 0.5 is $110. A 5.0 is $270. And that's the first appearance of Wolverine. It's a cameo, it's the last panel of the issue, but it's still the first time he appears in comics. To me, this one's a no-brainer. And as of now, compared to 181, this is so undervalued. And I put that in a video also. So I know there are some people out there that don't like me for whatever reasons, but you know what? I know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to help people save money because if people would have listened to me about this video just back in April, as you can see here, April 13th, so only a couple of months ago, I was telling people to get this book. And look at this, 31 thumbs down. So 31 people hated that I was telling people to get these books. And look how much an 8.0 is now. I paid, I think, let me see if I do the price. Let me see if I mention the price. Hold on a second. Make sure they check it because it's going to be a big difference in one of the honorable mentions. Get hold. Now, comic book fans are going to, it is a book that at that point. All right, well, anyway, I don't want to waste your time. I spent about $1,560 or something like that, including shipping and handling. Right now, like I showed in here, the Hulk 180 is now selling for an average of 3500 and you saw the sales. So the sales tell you everything you need to know. So there are a lot of people, because remember, this is the biggest thing that people may not understand. It's like, why are the prices keep going up and how far can they go? You have to think from a business sense. Because of the internet and the ability to buy things online, it has opened up things to the entire world. So you could be somebody that lives in the, the darkest regions of India, where you're in the middle of a swampland, in the middle of nowhere. If you have internet access, you have the ability to buy this book. And people all around the world are really starting to get into comic book collecting. And especially with the U.S. versions of the comics, because they realize that the U.S. versions are, for the most part, like 999 times out of 1,000, the most valuable. Now, here's the thing. This is all about supply and demand. They no longer print Hulk 181. Now, you could buy a reprint, of course, which will save you a lot of money but you're not going to make any money on that. I'm talking about Hulk 181 as a comic. 
that is no longer printed. Every year, comics get lost, they get destroyed, they get thrown out, they get wrecked, they deteriorate, they mold. So since they don't print anymore, every year that goes by, another one of these has disappeared. Or another one gets hoarded by somebody and it's off the market. But what happens? As you could see with the movies, you're getting more and more people into the comic book community. More and more people want to buy these books. So you're getting more of a demand with a decreasing supply. So not even the fact that the, the supply is now stagnant. They don't make any more of them. You cannot print new ones of these without it being called a reprint. So even if you went with every single Hulk Winnie one that's in existence now, as you get more and more people wanting these books, even if it was mass printed, there are billions of people on the planet. They did not make billions of copies of this book, especially as you get higher in grade. So when you know about how business works, we have a, a, a firm situation of supply and demand. There is a limited supply, which is decreasing every year, because how many of these get damaged in the mail? How many of these get lost in the mail? How many people don't know what they have and threw it out, or had a fire, or had a flood, or their house got robbed, like what happened to me? There's so many different factors. Somebody's looking at their books, and all of a sudden they spill coffee, or they put it down in their basement thinking it's safe, and all of a sudden it got, you know, attacked by the elements, by bugs, rats, the weather. How many people put them on their walls and find out that the sun faded it? So the supply is decreasing, but the demand is increasing. That is why these books are, are continually rising. That is why I tried to warn people months ago to get these books. And I'm telling you now, it's still worth getting. This is in a bubble, make no mistake, but it is nowhere near a bubble that's ready to pop. Because like I said, the fact that Wolverine has not even been talked about or even confirmed to be in the MCU as of now, there are still going to be plenty of people that are hesitant. And if you think this book is going to drop, this is what you're going to be disappointed in. It's going to go up probably about another $1,000 and then maybe drop $100. So yes, when you're talking about a drop, there could be drops. But you're talking, if you bought it now, without the drop and it goes up $1,000, and then it drops 100 and everybody says, oh, that's the buying opportunity, you saved $900 by buying it now. So um, Reggie did a, a video about this yesterday, and I wasn't going to make a video on this because I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to copy them or step on their toes. So if you don't know who Reggie is, his name is Reggie Simmons Pro. He's getting close to 1,000 subscribers. He's at about 850. If you guys can, go to his channel and subscribe, because the good thing is for him, if he's already got the 4,000 watch hours, and congratulations on that, you need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to actually be able to put ads on your channel, so he can earn a little bit. So if you guys want to subscribe to his channel, please do. Get him to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Help him out. He's a good guy. I listen to his videos all the time, and I love busting his chops and making him laugh in the middle of live shows. But... The reason I made this video is I went on eBay to see what these prices are, and they're going through the roof. Like you saw, people are spending over $1,000 what it's actually worth, and the auction's not even closed on some of these. So this is a book, if you can trade books to get, if you can get only a lower grade, get it, because it still has an opportunity. It doesn't matter how much you spend, it's how much it's worth. So let's say you could have bought this five years ago for $500, and now you have to spend $2,000. Well, if all of a sudden, five years from now, that $2,000 investment is now a $4,000 investment, and I'm not guaranteeing that's the case, but let's say hypothetically it continues to rise, you've still doubled your profit. So the longer you wait on books like this, the more regret you're going to have and the lower grade you're going to get. So... That's all I want to say. Uh, again, think business-wise. And unfortunately, I say this all the time because I see the problem in the comic book community. That's why you'll see 31 
you know, thumbs down on a video like this is people in the comic book community on average are way too over emotional and they do not stop and think business sense. So when they hurt channels like mine, they're actually stopping other people from seeing a video that can actually help them save money. So if people want those people to continue to spread the hate, it actually hurts the comic book community in a, as a whole. Because to be perfectly honest, it doesn't matter to me if you buy it or not. It doesn't affect me whether you buy it or not. I'm doing it because I want to share this information to help everybody. Because when you win, when I win, we all win. And some people, I guess, they just don't want to think that way. So if you don't want to get this book, I understand. If you think there's going to be a dip in this and you just wait on that dip, well, I hope you have about 20 years because it's not going to happen anytime soon. And like I said, if there is even close to any kind of dip, you'll see maybe a 1% pullback after it's raised 3,000%. That's not saving. So if you have to mow lawns, if you have to trade in some of your other books, if you have to work for somebody for a year to pay off this book, if you have to save for a year to get it, I cannot stress it anymore. And like I said, if it's something that you say is totally out of your reach, then please get Hulk 180. Don't do it for me, because like I said, it doesn't affect me anyway. I'm trying to help you because I know how business works. I see the potential of these things. I also predicted Fantastic Four number 48. And again, you haven't seen anything yet on those books. And I was telling people for years to pick up that book. The best thing that ever happened was that horrible Fantastic Movie, Fantastic Four movie that came out a, a couple years ago. Because everybody stayed away from Fantastic Four books, and those books dropped. And that was the best time to buy. And again, it still has plenty of room. So don't wait. People always wait emotionally until the last minute, and regret is not making that decision. So I'm telling you right now, you still have time, but it's you're not going to see any dip anytime soon. Because if you know anything about supply and demand, once again, the supply is decreasing and the, the demand is increasing. That guarantees a, a rise, which eventually will cause a bubble. But like I said, that bubble is going to go up about a thousand percent since last year. And that bubble is going to pop eventually and maybe go down 20%. So if you want to wait until there's a drop, it will be so much more expensive. It'll be probably two to three times more expensive then, even with the dip, than buying it now. If you think you're going to see Hulk 181, a lower grade for $200, you're never going to see that again. So don't wait anymore if you want to get this book. I mean, obviously, if you want it just for reading it, well, you can get a digital copy or you can get a reprint. But if you're doing it for investment purposes, or even just the, for the bragging rights to say you own one, even at a 0 0.5, even for a coverless issue, you can always buy another one with a cover. They're always going to be out there. Get this book before it becomes the next AF-15. Thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Show support by sharing these kind of videos. Comment and help me to help you guys. My channel, despite what very few want to claim... I'm all about helping you guys, and I can't do it without you. So thanks for listening, thanks for the support, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics.